Hi there, welcome to 12 Days of Copilot, and I am your host, Michael Giannotti, on day 10. 10. And so today we're going to be taking a look at Copilot in Microsoft Teams meetings. Now, I have to tell you, this is a feature that it's worth the price of admission to Copilot just for this, because I use it all the time, and I'm sure you would too. So, and here, let me just kind of lay it out. If you're like me, you know, we're in this world of virtual meetings now. You know, we have been for some time. And in that kind of a, you know, case scenario, people just rack and stat meetings all day. And that might mean that you have no break between meetings. I know we encourage good meeting hygiene in five minutes. And all. Yeah, that usually goes out the window. I know it does for me here at work, and I'm sure it does for you as well. But even worse is when people just don't even look at you know, free busy, and they double book you, they triple book you, they just don't look, you may be out of office. Um, and really the one I get the most though is overlapping meetings, where I have to prioritize, so I attend the first meeting, but it overlaps the second meeting by about 30 minutes. And I don't wanna disrupt the flow of the meeting, but yet I also wanna know what I missed and get brought up to date. That's where all this, really shines. Um, and this is like that beginning use case that has immediate, immediate impact in a whole range of scenarios. We'll talk about some of those as we go through, but we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to my second screen and we're gonna be looking at a demo meeting recap that some colleagues of mine put together, uh, Sue Benzel, Pete Anello, Aaron Spencer. I'm gonna just go through, I wanna give them all a quick shout out. Jim Warner, Daryl Rowe, um, who else do we have here? Christopher Wendling, Mark Litwin. So all those folks in HLS, thank you, thank you, thank you, because this does a great job of showing what we want to take a look at. So we're in meeting recap, <clears throat> um, but you will note that for that we have Copilot listed up here. And when you're in a lot, when you're in an actual meeting meeting in Teams. This appears as well. In fact, it's something I love to show up or show off live when I'm demoing Copilot and I'm talking to a customer. I love to show this feature during the meeting, using the meeting we're in because at any point in time, the things that I'm going to show you, you can do live or post meeting. So let's go ahead, select Copilot and it's gonna open up here on the right-hand side and that's what it'll do there. You'll see we have a whole bunch of ones where we've been interrogating this thing on an ongoing basis. So those continue to show up. We're gonna pretend though that nothing's there. We're gonna start from scratch. And so you can see here, it says, ask me anything about this meeting. I can start to type. We do provide, we have some prompts, you know, that we provide here, so hey, Recap the meeting. If you're in the meeting live, that actually the first one, recap the meeting so far, right? Um, it appears. List action items, suggest follow-up questions. What questions are unresolved? List different perspectives by topics. List main ideas we discuss. Generate meeting notes. It's a whole range of things that you can do and you can pre-query. Hey, what did, uh, for example, what did, uh, Let's say this, um, summarize what Pete, oh, I'm not typing in there, it helped to be in, there we go. <laughs> summarize what Pete Anello said during the meeting. So I could go ahead and ask what Pete and Ella said. We'll go ahead and hit enter. It's going to look at what Pete said during the meeting, and it's going to provide a summary of that. Maybe I only cared about what that one person said, and I want to get that. There we go. Boom. Pete and Ella said the following during the meeting. Notice it not only has his product marketing lead for Project, project Falcon. For some reason, I hear that. I think superhero. He is the Falcon. Um, but here you go, you can see there, I am the product manager lead for Falcon. And then he's got some other things. And it also gives a reference to the transcript and when he said that. So you can see who said what, 
with their presence, with what they set, and the timestamp. So you know that it's accurate. That's asking, you know, about a specific person. Um, and you can go on and we can continue to query. But typically what I do, the two things that I do in any meeting when it overlaps, I jump on and I have some today that I have to jump on and I'll be 30 minutes late. Um, or perhaps, you know, you've had those back to back to back meetings. and You're like, look, I got to run to the restroom and you're not the first person to speak. So you take off and the meeting's going on. <laughs> Well, you go to the restroom, grab some coffee, whatever it is you need to do, and you get back and it's ten, five, 10 minutes into the meeting. These are the two activities that I, I, I kid you not. Well, I don't kid you. I think you'll see the value. If you think about it, this alone should make Copilot worth it for you. If you're doing meetings, virtual meetings and teams, this should make it worth your while Forget everything else we talked about. This is worth the price of admission. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select one of their prompts, recap the meeting. So, and it would say if I was a live meeting, the first one would be recap the meeting so far. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. I select that. It goes through. It grabs the key points. And it says, hey, launch timing for Project Falcon, Chris, to speed up beta testing by two weeks. Launch delayed by two weeks press event unchanged, and then click, and I can see uh, what was said and by whom that was brought up by Chris Wendling at that point in time. This next one was Pete Anello uh, taking an action item to map out things. We've got some additional by Sue Vensel, and again, timestamps, and here by Daryl Rowe. So picture this. You tuned into your meeting 30 minutes late. You have all that there, ready to go. Um, also. It automatically then suggests, since we already recapped, and it does this also during the live list action items so far. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and it's going to go through and find any outstanding action items that we've committed to. And again, here we are, and we can see the names of who those are and when they said that, when they committed to that. It's all there. That's captured. I can see it both live and after the fact. So. Think about your meetings internally. But let's say you're a clinician and you're using Microsoft Teams for virtual meetings and, uh, excuse me, for virtual visits with, with your patients. And you have, you know, frequently what we'll do is for anything around support or medical, et cetera, there's a, that kind of, um, hey, listen, we're going to, uh, you know, record either record the meeting and you could have that recording for meeting recap and make that available or you could just transcribe the meeting the call and that can be just in over an audio call it doesn't have to be a full video meeting it could be using voice over ip or one of those scenarios and now i have all this done as a part of copilot that i can take and drop into Epic, Cerner, my, you know, EMR of choice could be homegrown on some open EMR system, whatever the case is, or what other other system. Maybe I'm a, a help desk and we need to log those calls. But the fact is, with the transcription enabled, now I can call that. I can call it and co-pilot. I could even grab the whole transcript and do some automated back end process to have it grab it and dump it into a system of choice. All kinds of options available, but with Copilot though, it puts at my fingertips the ability to query, to gain insight, to gain actionable insight, and to then be able to move on with that. We always have the copy feature right here um, for any of these, so I can grab that readily and then just drop it into a system. If we had, in this case, let's say I had Epic integration into Teams for Teams meetings for Virtual visits as an example. Again, quick, boom, copy to clipboard, drop it into that dialog for uh, that particular system. So all kinds of options. This to me is that baseline, fundamental, at least for me personally, I use multiple times every single day 
Um, and I'll think you will too. I think you will too. And I think you'll find, again, the value is worth the price of admission to Copilot. So with that, on day 10, day 10 of the 12 days of Copilot, my AI said to me, <laughs> Michael, please stop singing. Um, so we'll see you next time. We have two more days to go through, and then we're just going to continue to talk about the stories. It doesn't have to be the 12 days of Copilot. It's just the ongoing life of an employee, of a knowledge worker, of a clinician, of a frontline worker, whoever you are. How AI can make your job more efficient, better and help you with your daily tasks. With that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Have a great weekend as we're going into it with day number 10. Take care and as always, ciao.